Good morning chess players. This year, in the first round of daily chess championship, I managed to finish all the games with a victory. Below you can find the most interesting fragments of these games. I presented them in the form of puzzles and I encourage you to solve all of them. So let's focus on the chessboard. Why to move? How to win? It's obvious that white has clear advantage and the best way to realize it is to simplify. So queen takes bishop on g7 is an answer. After rook g7, knight f6, royal fork. So king has to go to d8. Knight takes queen, it then take knight and white has two pawns more. In the end game, so it's enough to win it easily. The move earlier, Black played carelessly bishop on g4. In the beginning, it looks good because knight is pinned, but this bishop is also unprotected. So find the best move for white. Okay, classical bishop h7 check is winning. King takes the bishop, and now another check. Queen is safe because it's a check, so king g6. Queen takes the bishop, and now if black attack this queen, we can easily withdraw it, because after king g5, there is rook 4 with fork and easy win for white. It's very easy, classical and force. How to win with white? Queen e6, check, is winning. After king h8, h5 is open, so Another check on h3, king g8, and traditional checkmate. Although at first glance the position seems equal, white has a simple way to gain an advantage. So, bishop exchange is winning because now. Rook and Queen are all the same diagonal, so Bishop e5 after Queen escape. White can take this Rook and then go with Rook to d7, winning the game. Position is not very dynamic, nobody is attacking anyone. White developed on its half of the board and black on its own. The only motive is the presence of rook and queen in the same d5. So the best move is capture this pawn. And again, to continue with bishop. Okay, but white is also attacking our queen, but it's not a problem. We can capture with rook this queen. And now black has sufficient suk with check. And the end game is better for black. In this position, white takes advantage of a frequently made mistake. I mean the situation when black knight jumps on e5. So before is the best move attacking knight. That has no square to jump. So, in the beginning, pawn exchange. And now, very tricky move queen c7. And after this mistake, rook is captured. But white has nice d6, crossing this diagonal. And after ed6, pawn takes knight and white is winning. 
you can start the game g4 it's not a problem you can even sacrifice a pawn but always think several times before moving this pawn f2 pawn in your opening and even if there is no treat try to choose a different move anyway because here after f3 there is checkmate and this is the effect of marching the f pawn during this game because f2 and f7 pawns are there to defend the king against the opponent queen in the opening training can be considered done for today i hope you managed to solve some of these exercises in the first round i managed to win all the games and now i'm waiting for the next round i encourage everyone to play daily chess and daily games because it's definitely better than one minute chess. Goodbye.